Right, well, not very good definition again. Still after a much better camera. But uh, let's see if we can just get enough footage to show what I'm after showing. Uh, we've got a small piece in the three jaw which is locked. That's uh, rigid there. Small piece which has already got a thread on it and we've got this section here and we want a keyway. Now with only the lathe and the drill press I'm a bit stuck for ideas. Usually I've got to do something in the lathe and uh, this is just what we call an expedient method to achieve uh, a simple keyway. What we've got in the tool holder is a parting tool on its side. The parting tool diameter is, if I remember, about 065 I think and that's fairly academic. We're not concerned with dimensions here very much, just the, way, the method of use. So what we're going to try and do here without straining the drive and saddle, this is all going to be manual, we're going to bring the carriage up to a stop and then back off, increase our increment, go in again, basically using this like a shaper. You can't remove too much at a time, otherwise it's uh, too much strain on the system. But it is possible to get a reasonable keyway doing this. So we're going to try and zoom in here and uh, take a few bites, see what we can do. Probably go to a depth of about a sixteenth. Um, 1625 and that will probably be adequate and of course the key piece itself can be made to suit the diameter of the keyway. Okay let's hope this is going to be sharp enough to show what I'm doing. So I'm going to come across here and uh, we've already touched off actually which gives me a zero on the cross slide. So I'm going to feed in 5 thou. Um, we'll just put a little bit of oil on there. And I'm going to manually feed. See if we get anything. We've got the beginnings of just a touch cut, not very much. Add in 5 thou. Now we're cutting. up to the end stop and back off another five now the cut is oh hang on a sec that's uh, we tend to get a bit of a pile up at the at the end before we reach the stop Gotta clean that up when we've done some more passes. The problem at the end here can be cleaned up a bit when we've finished. As I say, this is not the ideal method, but it's just another way that another way that we can actually achieve something like a keyway if we haven't got a mill or milling cutter available just trying to finish that off by withdrawing the tool to clean up the end And too much of a cut puts a lot of strain on the uh, carriage, saddle. Let's see what we're doing here. Right, touch off again. Back out, another few thou. 
another cut. The end of the cut is a problem because we have to we have to get the end of the cut and any chip out of the way. Now we'll come back, clean that up. By the way, this is not the sharpest. This is a very old parting tool and it certainly is not the sharpest by any means. We'll feed in for another light cut. Pull out. The danger with this method is that you're straining the lead screw on the cross slide and uh, if you take too much of a bite it's a strain on the carriage drive. Touch off. Just take that through and try and get it coming clean. Pull out at the end. It's a while since I've done it this way, but in the past I've had to resort to this method. Now the other thing I might try in a minute is to put another, another parting tool in. Let's leave it there for a minute, see if I can get this one any further. Well, <laughs> an unsharp tool is not the best thing. I'm really just trying to demonstrate a technique that can work. We've got about a 45, 50 thou cut in here now. The end needs slightly cleaned up, which can be done with a needle file. What I'm going to try is using another parting tool, which is one with an insert, and we'll see if we get a slightly cleaner cut. Oh, I mean camera problems and everything. As I said earlier, definition is nothing very special on this camera. So anyway, what we've done, we've tried using an extremely poor high-speed steel parting tool, turned sideways. And we got down about 45, 50 thou, but it's pretty hard work. What I've done here. I've just started a cut. You might just about be able to see it. I'm trying to get as much light as I can. So there we are. We've got. I've just got a cut started here, and I can't even remember the width of this insert, which doesn't really matter too much because the key would, the key itself would be made to suit the slot in this case. So I'm just taking some very light cuts. And uh, get a bit of any crud at the end. We're still going to have to remove what's left at the end when we've finished. So we're on 22. There's not very much at the end actually, because I'm stopping short of the uh, stopping short of this. Uh, shoulder here, we're not going all the way. So we're on 22, we'll come back and take some more light cuts. As I said before, this is using the same principle as a shaper, a machine I used to have, which was brilliant for cutting keyways. Nothing like it, although it took some setting up. But this, uh, this insert is actually getting a fairly clean cut. I did notice on the previous experiment, <laughs> it's a long time since I've done this trick anyway. Just clean that at the end slightly. And the other thing I had noticed before when I was working on the other side was that I hadn't 
fully tightened down the tool post. I'm just checking. Yeah, that's good and tight. Because the amount of pressure involved here is quite significant. So it's up to 28. I think something has moved slightly. You've got to get things locked up pretty well to do this. Now let's uh, take a look. I've got to get rid of that mess at the end in a minute. All right, well, I'll just take another Another small cut. I'm not going to go much deeper actually. This isn't, a, it's not quite as deep as we might have wanted, but the object is just to, oops, now there is a classic example of it, of an insert that wants to come out. This is a problem with that. Maybe an old insert too. So it's trying to pull out. Yeah, <laughs> you probably can't see that insert doing that, can you? You might do. I think I've probably got as far as I can here. Yeah, need a new insert. Anyway, let's clean this up. We're going to do a bit of filing just to clean it up. The object of the exercise was just to show what can be done, although it's not very easy. There are better ways of doing this. Well, what we've got, <laughs> I'm not very proud of this. It's just really a case of trying to show folks something you can do if you're stuck. <clears throat> this side was the uh, this narrower slot that was using the old high-speed steel fairly narrow part-off tool which was, uh, I think it was about 65 thou and the insert which I've just used which started coming loose I'll measure that and just check and see what it was Probably a, oops, probably a standard size. Let's check. It's actually about 090. As far as I can tell. Anyway, that uh, I think that little insert's probably done its duty. So we've got 090 and uh, 65 there. This one didn't carry on through as far. I have actually rather quickly just cleaned it up with a with a file and got rid of the burrs on the edge. So anyway, this isn't pretty. Let's just get a close up just to see what we've achieved. I say it's not too pretty, but it could well be functional if you're at a push. Uh, okay, there's the narrow one with that rather poor condition high-speed steel parting tool but you can see what we're trying to achieve that's the main thing I have cleaned it up quickly with a file and got rid of the burrs and the end still needs a little bit of tidying up and here's the one using the parting tool insert which as I say is about 090 looks a bit bigger actually that's quickly cleaned up with a file a bit messy and got rid of the burrs but you can see that if we persevered on this and went a little bit deeper perhaps not a lot we'd have a keyway that would suffice particularly if it wasn't under huge load and the other suggestion which I didn't bother with I would tend to pre-drill cross drill to a slightly greater depth than the um, keyways required and so we did a hole there 
or a hole here and that would give us a nice stop point and we wouldn't have this collection of chips at the end which is rather difficult to clear I think I did do that once it made life a lot easier anyway it's just a, <laughs> just an idea that might get you out of trouble if you can't mill it and you need a keyway <laughs>